FMB in the light Steelers jerseys. Sanders is going to take the fair catch, and I'll bring you up to speed on these guys' rosters, Rico. Remember, this is Madden Ultimate Team, so you have players from the current NFL rosters, stars in the league, you have legends, all different types and versions of players are used to construct these, and these guys can't just stack their squads, they've got to be GMs off the field and fit everything under an 850 salary cap the Aaron Rodgers on offense. High point pass intercepted by Boogs and he's going to bring it down the sideline. A big start. Sean Taylor, the legend. You already saw going into it that FNB looked a little off. He, he didn't have that, that same swag and the same bop and the same bounce he had going into that first game. I was wondering, was he a little bit concerned about facing Boogs? And then you see Boogs jump out of here like that. Oh my God. What's unfortunate for him is he went to the high point pass in the seam, and that's something that can be dangerous. Uh, you have Aaron Rodgers, you expect an on-point pass, but if you overthrow, that's the risk you take against trying to carve up a seam like that. And now Chris Johnson, for Boogs, is looking to go up the middle for seven yards. Yes, and he did that with the greatest of ease. While his most wanted said he doesn't really like to run, you see Boogs will definitely take that run as long as you give it to him. That's what makes him so good, Rico, and that's the evolution of his game. Uh, when he started out, obviously he's been playing for years, but last season when he emerged on the competitive scene, I think many players thought of Boogs as just an offensive player who only ran bunch and simply just tried to pass the ball all over the yard. But you've seen guys like Skimbo who run the bunch, guys like Boogs, they've added more running into their game plan. And they've done it with defense, too. I mean, Boog showed up to the Classic with some of the best defense we saw, and he's got dots like that to Cooks, easy touchdowns across. What do turn, uh, turnovers turn into, Rico? Touchdowns. All the time, 7 nothing for the one seed, Boogs in this one. Now, there are levels to this, and we saw FMB seem like he had an answer for Manu in his shotgun offense. He looked like he was nowhere near Boogs on that drive. While it was a quick one because he had a short field, this could be a little disheartening for him. Yeah, I mean, not, not to take away anything from Manu, but I mean, Boogs is the, one of the best, one of the top three best in the world at running bunch. Uh, so he's also got a different playbook, which gives you a little bit more. Uh, Manu is in the Broncos, which has a very good bunch, but I believe Boogs is actually in uh, the Packers offense, which is the best gun bunch in the entire game. All right, well, most wanted again, trying to start off with that run, but was unsuccessful. First and 10 turned into second and 11. And, I mean, we're only one, we're barely a minute. This game is barely a minute old, and it's already tough for most wanted. Books is going to get the ball at the half. But if you're most wanted, you just got to put together a drive, get back in this one, you're blocking your line, you're trying to roll out, set your feet, and you're hitting Fitzgerald under the uh, over the middle. And he get, was able to get a gain of five yards there, but still left him in a third and six conundrum. You definitely want to make the most of this possession. You, is this almost four down territory? This could be early four down territory, Rico. But this third and six, will, you know, if he takes a sack, that could push him out. Uh, he did punt last game, and bad things happened with the big return for Deion Sanders. So let's see what he decides to go to. If he can beat this cover two, let's see. Baby Skimbo. The Skimbo. Uh, that's a delayed slant off of that motion. Fourth and inches is definitely four down territory. You're not going to give it up uh, without trying to pick it up on fourth and inches. A good delay route. Uh, I said Boogs. Skimbo met that. And he said, yep, yep, nope. That's definitely him. Definitely him all the way. People have, have been adding it to their game and using it. Boogs doesn't like it because it's a little bit delayed. Fourth and inches. He runs the toss. And oh my goodness, what a, a mistake of a play call. Rather than the sneak, you see him with the Madden is hard face. Just didn't trust the sneak up the middle. Tries to toss the rock and gets tackled for a big loss. Yeah, that's definitely a tough one. And that's what happens when you turn it into four down territory. You gave the ball back up on your 30th. And this is a... Uh, that's the backbreaker, Rico. Yeah, this is a familiar position for FNB right now. It, <laughs> it looks like... It could be 14-nothing 
before we're even at the two-minute mark in the for first quarter. Hey, it's not a big deal. I mean, reminder, our next uh, competitor, Snap Onik, who will be playing and won his game in the off-street match, he said he was down 14. He battled back. He fought. He stayed in it. He wants to be the Steelers Club champion. So it's okay. I mean, it's not certainly not how you want the game to start, especially with Boogs getting the ball at half, but worse things have happened. All right, Boogs dropping back. Looks. Heck, he made the play, and that is Richard Sherman stepping up for most wanted, Rico. That's the second time he stood up for himself inside the red zone. He got the fumble against Manu, and right there he gets the pick. That throw, that high point, is one of the things Boogs relies on in the red zone. Most Wanted was ready, and now he's trying to break it down the field. That's Coleman, 30-yard line. Can he go down to the 16, 60 yards on four carries for Coleman? Did you get a chance to see Boogs' face when he threw that pick to Sherman? Disgusted. Bad, bro? I mean, that's, definitely was. <laughs> that's a reliable target. I will say that Dallas Clark is not the tallest receiver in the game uh, so if you had Jimmy Graham maybe that's the high point you want to rely on but remember Rico this is salary cap you got to make those tough decisions maybe competitor bugs not happy with GM bugs for the team composition absolutely well they're all gonna need to be excited about defensive coordinator bugs because he needs to get a stop right here and tackling him on that Last play might have saved him the difference between seven and three. They just got to lock down here. Oh, yeah, wow. Oprah on the fullback dive up the middle. Just a couple yards makes it a little bit easier of a third down conversion. These red zone plays, though, Rico, super tight. And Boogs knows some of the combinations. I'm sure he watched the most wanted game earlier. Watched him play, saw what he liked to do down there. And now he's just going to need an answer. Third and three. This is a big play right here because you might have to take three if you don't want to come away empty-handed. And he's already nervous because of the last stop on fourth and inches. So he's going to need to score here. Pressure right gets picked up. He's trying to roll away from it and unfortunately couldn't connect with the receiver. And now on fourth and three, he's going to take his points. Uh, you know, if Boogs had scored, this would be maybe four down territory. But instead, you make it 7-3. Look, I was talking with RG last night. One of the goats in the Madden community. A guy who's been doing it for a long time. And what he was saying is, look, in Madden 17, you got to take your points. You got to take your points when you can get them. This isn't old school Madden where it's like you got to cash in and get seven every time. If you get down there, it's early in this game. This game's still in the first quarter, Rico. You got to take your points. And look, these guys are heeding the advice of the legend. Absolutely. Because we've seen these games have all been decided by a field goal. So far, absolutely. Here we go. Now, Here we go. is it going to be that field goal that he took, or is it going to be the point differential from the four he didn't get taking the field goal? I mean, plus these games have had chapters, right? Like the first chapter of this game was looking like it was going to be 14 nothing, But now you choose your own adventure, and all of a sudden it's 7-3. Uh, the Manu game had him going down 10, and then it had him taking 14. So the, the drives come in waves. The more you see this bunch from Boogs, the more familiar you'll get with it. I know he labbed it prior because Boogs has, has shown it before, but he's always adjusting it, updating it, adding to it, depending on how the game changes as the season goes on. You see the FMB's most, uh-oh, up Cooks top. Burnt him with Brandon Cooks. That's 97 speed Brandon Cooks. He got him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside fade route. And even though he was covered, Boogs trusted Cooks to get separation, lobbed it up over the top, dropped it in a bucket, and Brandon Cooks took it the rest of the way. Absolutely. There was no safety help over top, and he took the lid off that defense incredibly quickly. And those are the big plays that hurt you. Most Wanted's given up a punt return, a deep touchdown, and Boogs has, has gotten yards in chunks when he needs them, and that's what makes his offense so dynamic is, you know, he can take the underneath route when you give it to him, but he's always got a play that he's looking to go with downfield. And you never know when he's going to hit you with it, right? We haven't seen that yet. Not but at he all. saw what his opponent was giving to him. He adapted to it. And that's where he gets seven. Now, you notice in the Manu game, he got that fumble that he was able to keep a minute when he was about to go down 21 unanswered. When Books was about to go up 14 to nothing, he got that pick at the goal line. He just needs to work on the other 
95 yards of defense. He's got a right. box shed up the middle. And that right there uh, was a defender breaking out over the line of scrimmage because I guarantee you FMB Most Wanted did not spend big time on his offensive line. In fact, his right guard, Cole Toner, as a 59 overall, he just got beat by the defensive lineman on that play, and that's something that you risk in this salary cap mode. Oh, he jarring hit. Wasn't able to bring that one in. Third and 10 for FMB. Xavier Rhodes on a user hit stick, so Boogs, very talented, takes that right stick, flicks it at the exact moment the ball comes in, knocks it loose, even against a great player like Jerry Rice. All right, we got that bunch to the right. Evan B definitely needs a big play here on third and 10. Here comes the heat. Will he get it off? Oh, great job there. That's a bleacher blitz, Rico. All the way from the right side, all the way off the screen. The edge pressure comes in, takes a little bit longer than if it's just right off the edge, uh, but you can send a little bit less defenders. He saw it coming in, but was ready with the read just before it got there. What a great throw from Most Wanted. All right, here we are at the second quarter. Ball the 45-yard line. Most wanted trailing 14 to 3. Didn't see what he liked, so he threw it away. He only put about three routes outside uh, on that play, and he tried to pick up some of the pressure, looked for a quick playmaker up the middle, and instead just decided to throw it away. And sometimes as a Madden player, the smartest play you can make on a first down is to throw it away and give yourself a chance on second and 10. Oh, and just like that, that pressure came in. That wasn't from the bleachers. That looked like it was right there that time. Just right in the back of the lineman. Get it down on the ground. No harm, no foul. Third and 10. And tough sledding to continue to have to pick up these longer style conversions. He's staying in that gun bunch with three receivers out to the right. He likes the motion rice. Let's see if he can find a way. He's rolling away from the pressure. He's looking back across the field. And McCaffrey can't hang on. He's just three for 10 right now, Rico got to find a way to be more consistent and remember he's had opportunities with the ground game but he hasn't stuck with it i'm going on record right now saying this is the biggest play of the game right here fourth and ten does he get why don't you go on record telling us if he's going to pick it up you know he's not that's why i'm saying it's the biggest play of the game all right fourth and ten here <laughs> if Bugs takes back over up 14 13 on the so 45 watch, watch Bugs. he's standing right on the steelers logo he's right on that red steeler uh, logo and that lets the pressure come in on the left you see a block shed and that's number 54 getting in off the left side for Boogs locking down on defense so what I liked for most wanted there was he put the halfback out to pick up the blitzer but a block shed occurred and because you don't spend any cap on your line didn't have time to get the throw off so it was a good chess match but ultimately uh, uh, GM Boogs is happy with putting that defender on his line. All right, we both want to get a little bit of pressure there. Turns that first and 10 into second and 14. But hopefully it's not a little too late to form because he's already trailing by 11. And Boogs gets the ball back at the half, doesn't he? Yes, he does, Rico. That's Olivier Vernon on the defensive line for Boogs, matched up against Tyrus Thompson, a 61 overall player who only cost you 14 salary cap. So you got to pay those offensive linemen. Absolutely. All right, he's looking for somebody. Got A. That's the route he won the game with, and he goes back to it in a huge way to pick up 43 yards. McNair, precise. He's got one touchdown so far in this red zone, but he did throw a pick down here, and if Most Wanted wants to stay in this game, he's going to need to find another way to get a turnover, but it would be very rare for Boogs to turn it over twice. McNair, boom. Ooh, not able to hang on. But you notice how he waited till he was out of the bunch before he threw it because he didn't want to make the same mistake as last time. He's adapting. This, kid's, this kid is one of the smartest in the community for a reason, Rico. He's a veteran. He's 29. Nothing rattles him. Every now and then, when he makes a great play, he'll give you just a fist pump down to the one. But, yeah, you don't see a lot of emotion no. from, from Boogs. He did cap, though, at, at the last year's event, 2016. It was shocking. <laughs> so third and goal on the one. Is this sneak? Is this toss? I think it's a full yard. I don't think it's inches. So I don't know if he'll sneak. Uh, but he could then go back to back sneaks. And I haven't seen if most wanted does appear to have some sneak deep. So I'm going with the sneak and he gets it. I think he's going to run off the right. Sting, Johnson, cash 
Money Records. That's a nice play call. That's a good meta change. Run off the left side, quick hitter. Change up the gaps, Rico. Madden 17 has authentic gap defense, right? So you have to look to plug every gap. And when you take away and pile three bros right over the center to stop the sneak, you give up that left side. Boogs, coordinator, he realizes that. He's seen it before, and he just pounds it right off the left edge for the score. All right, 21 to three, most wanted is trailing. And there's still three minutes and 14 seconds to go in the first half here at Heinz Field in the Pittsburgh Madden Club Series. Most wanted right now is a touchdown. That's what most wanted is most wanted, wants a touchdown. All right, that bunch to the right, sends him back out, uh-oh. Oh, he had Rice open. Think he was gonna have Rice back across? Yes. He waited for a second, waited too long, and then wound up throwing a completion that cost him two yards. Boogs with a corner blitz right now, so that's where that pressure is coming in from, way off. He's got a couple different ways to send it, uh, and we'll look to show you some tells. He's only sending three guys off the right side, and then he's dropping his coverage from the left. So one of the things that Boogs showed up with to the Classic with was the ability to send pressure left and send it right. So you never really know where it's coming from. You're not never super confident. But see how he's stacking that gap. He's right up in front of 77. He's saying, hey, 77, check me out. Hey, 61, I'm right here. I'm right here. And then, boom, block shed city up the middle. Quick throw to the flat. Coleman gets popped. And now we're going to have a fourth and four situation. And this one could get out of hand quickly if he can't convert. You're saying as if this game isn't already out of hand. He's got the ball. You know, he can make a 21-10. As long as and he pulls within, forget. he's good. Boogs gets the ball back in the second half. Okay. It's okay. I mean, this is all you can do, Rico. You can't score more than seven right now. So, you know, this is where you are. This is a situation you put yourself in with some uh, early mistakes. He needs a five-yard play. Fourth and four here. The clock's ticking down. He's going to take it to the two-minute warning and not overdo it. Remember, the next matchup on today's docket, Rico, snap on it against Misery, two known players in the community, both really, for the first time, you know, at a live event of this caliber, looking to get on the big stage and show why they think they're the next big things in this community. Both really, really talented players, and I'm excited for them to get their chance on the main stage, you know? Absolutely, here it goes. Fourth and four, there's that pressure. He finds him, oh, great job. And he went back to it, that pressure. He's rolling to the left. He's finding receivers. It's been tough sledding, but Boogs is doing a good job mixing up that pressure. See him with the coverage defense. He runs Gun Bunch himself, so he does he know how to defend? It's a mirror match. Good, plenty of time. That's a great way to pick that up. Oh, that was just a clinic on offense. He picked up all that blitz, gave himself time, rolled around, broke the ankle, delivered that strike. First down. The Most Wanted said that if the game was on the line and there was three players around Ed McCaffrey, he would throw it. So Dejan has a lot of confidence that Ed McCaffrey is going to make those catches, and he hung on to a big one right there. All right, he has a little bit of time here. Touchdown. He's looking. Fitz, dot. That's a possession catch for the score, a strike. Jalen Ramsey beat on the play. Cover zero, Rico. Aggressive. Aggressive call from Boogs. It had been working for him so far, but all of a sudden, it's 21-9, and he's going to try and go for two, I think, and see if he can make it 21-11. I don't know if you like chasing points this early. What do you think? I think you have to do something to try to get this momentum stopped. And I don't know if that, if that was it. But it, he has to do something. He's down 12, and Boogs can still score here. Yeah, that's what the that's, that's the danger. That's the danger spot because you know 24-9 is tough. Uh, we've saw Boogs do it with less timeouts, less time on the clock, and I expect him fully to do it again right here with how good he's looked uh, and how comfortable he's looked on offense today. So this is a big time play for Most Wanted. Also, if you're Boogs, though, you are in control of this game and you don't want to do anything that you would regret. Uh oh, here comes some pressure. Flag, and we're going to get a uh, intentional grounding on the play. He was not outside the tackle box. There was no receiver in the area, and the ref's going to do the over-the-head maneuver there. And uh, that's a loss of down and yardage. So second and 21 for Boogs, and now all of a sudden, your opponent still has three timeouts. What do you do here? 
Ah, you you got to be smart here. You run the ball. But Boog says, hey, I haven't seen anything to slow me down yet. And it stops the clock again here. Third and 21. You think FMB is a little disappointed he went for two there with seeing how easy it is he might get those ball back? We'll have to figure it out. I, uh, this, is, this is a big play because Boogs has plenty of routes to get him 21 yards. Coverage defense. He hung on. That is amazing precision for Boogs. That's why he's the number one seed in this event, Rico. I know we've stated it, but the way he is able to get the job done consistently on those big yarded situations is so impressive. And you got to love the fact that drops back. He's looking. He has him over the middle. Not able to hang on to it. He's lucky that one didn't get picked off. Rico, one thing to call out is there's an ability called tip drill. And one of the new Brian Dawkins items has it. You'll catch tip picks at a higher rate. Guys like Mike Evans at strong safety. Uh, if you play them out of position, this tip drill. He did. He wanted the tip pick there, but he didn't get it. But uh, that's maybe a lineup decision. Sometimes it's nice to have some of those little extra abilities that we've seen so far today, like the focus kicker, like the battle-ready halfback. There's so much variety in Ultimate Team, and that's why it really is the new mode that all these kids are enjoying playing, putting together their lineup, and getting an even matchup against other players. Uh-oh. Oh, that was big the way he picked that up. That was a little bit of a risky pass there. Boogs living on the edge. Living on the edge. That's where uh, all the action is, Rico. Fourth and one now, and he's going to keep going for it. Uh, he's on his own half of the field, 38 seconds left. This is a crucial play for most wanted. This is a quick out. Oh, wide open. Oh, he dropped oh, the he ball. Dropped. Cooks, one of the fastest players in all of Ultimate Team, could not secure the catch. And now all of a sudden, most wanted takes over. Too fast for his own good, took off before he had the ball. Or did he hear footsteps? He, he turned up field and, and thought about, he got bumped into, but he's got to hang on to that. If you pony up the, the cap for a Brandon Cooks, Rico, you need him to hang on to that rock. And then a run play for Most Wanted, gets the clock moving, and now he can take his timeouts, and he's looking good. And that's why going for too early, hindsight's 20-20, but it's, that's where you don't want to chase the points that early. Yeah, and now he's definitely chasing points. But the thing is, he needs to chase seven on this drive. Wow, there are only 29 seconds left. You can't afford to just take three here. X, X. Oh. Ew, whoa. What? So there was a lot that <laughs> occurred on that play. If he was to continue to lead that route and maybe double tap, which gives you a touch pass and, like, lay the ball out in front. How does that touch pass sound? Oh, so that sounded like it was accurate. Instead, he lobbed it instead of touch passing it. The receiver came back. It, he was lucky it was Larry who became the aggressive guy on the play. Uh, and here he moves, he's going to take his last time out. But that was not, that was a good, I didn't mind the throw, but the whole way it, once the ball left his hand occurred, didn't look good. Not good. Speaking of not good, 18 seconds left, only one more timeout. Look, Boogs is up in the face of the defender. Let's see if the pressure is going to try and come in from the right. And he's going to roll the cover to the left. That's how he's been defending Gunbudge so far. Yep, that's it. And he throws the ball away quickly, and he stepped out just far enough. So most players, Rico, I taught you last week, you're getting schooled up. Dude. You're going to be tough soon. You're going to be tough. Uh, when he stands there, the pressure will actually come in from the left. What Boogs is doing, though, is he's actually standing in that gap and using it to send the pressure in off the right from the same side as the bunch. That's where he's going to switch to Snugs here and look to bust the seams. Look, look to the seams. And he threw a pick already on one high point, but now he's going back. And now Boogs is standing back in front of 61. He's standing there. Saying, hey, check me out. Don't pay no attention to my guy on the right side of the field. Picked it up. He bought him some time. Got. He needed a, yeah, he could have playmaker the flat, but he knew he had that crossing route coming. He's down to the five-yard line with nine seconds, one timeout. Needs a high point throw. Ed McCaffrey's a good target down here. Fitz could be a good target down here. And this is where Madden players are made, Rico. With limited time on the clock. He's got to score here because Boogs gets the ball after the half. Wow. You got to give him credit on that call there. That took a lot of guts. Even though he had one timeout left, that would have changed the whole complexion of this game had he not gotten in there then. Great call from Most Wanted. Makes it 21-16 and then keeps it a five-point game. Boogs gets ball at half and now 
a field goal only keeps it a one score match. I, I'm, I'm shocked that he didn't go for it. At the point where you go for it in the last one, now you're, are you locked into chasing no, the points then, now? It, then it will be six, and then if Boogs gets three, then you're nine. But that's saying he doesn't get it. If he gets it, now it's four. He gets three, it's seven. You, don't you know, who, you know who chased points last night? Let's go. Your guy. My guy? Your guy. My guy. Lights out. Yes. Uh, I just want to hear you say my guy. He's your guy. Just because Rico's rock solid pick was. It, it was lights. Uh, lights against problem last night was an epic chess match level battle uh, during the Madden Challenge online group stage, the third major of the four. Those two players played last night. Lights went for two early and got it. And that pulled the, the game in a little bit tighter as that one played out in the fourth quarter with Lights edging out problem. Just a fantastic all-around match, but maybe he watched Lights go for the points and decided, hey, maybe I'll, I can go for it too. Or sometimes you just think you can get it, Rico. That's what Madden players, they all think they Everybody can get it. Everybody thinks they have a two-yard play. <laughs> Well, we're going to find out here as this second half kicks off. Oh, that was a great one there. You got to tip your hat to Bones. That was a tough pass. They brought it in. Tight window. Uh, he went back for the throw. I thought it was even more open than that catch uh, played out to be. But when you have a Pittsburgh Panther on your squad, Larry Fitzgerald, you throw him the ball where he can get it. He's going to go up and secure it. 20 plays now for Bugs, and the split is 14 and 6 run pass. All right, here we go. We're in the second half, 21-16. Our number one seed, Bugs, is in the lead. Look at him taking his cover. Oh, I thought he was going to try to get down, but he took the hit. Yeah, uh, you know, when you use Steve McNair, he's fast in this game. He's above 90 speed. That's, uh, that's as fast as many halfbacks in this game. So he saw a lane, decided to roll out. And look, he's got good carry. So if you're going to pony up, maybe don't slide. I, it's risky. I would have liked to see a slide because you don't want your quarterback exposed to big shots like that. So uh, that's tough. That it is. Especially since most wanted in the last game. Oh. Bumble Ruski. Ball is out and most wanted. He covers it. Vernon grabs the rock. And now he's back on offense, Rico. He trails by just five. Can I just tell you how amazing that stick skill was to get in the backfield? We saw a true boy. And Stevie J, that happened in that game last week at the Absolutely. Jaguars Club Series. These guys are playing above that level even right now. And most one is fighting extremely hard in this game against the number one seed, Boogs. Trails by five, but he's got the rock at midfield. All right, he's dropping back. Looking, finds Kelsey. Oh, right at the first down marker. It looks like he's starting to get his swag back. He feels like, okay, I have a shot. I can win this. And he took what was given to him. He took it underneath. He got out of bounds. He fumbled. He didn't try to extend the play. So fortunately, he was right near the sideline and avoided the strip. And now he is across midfield with the ball, using the gun bunch, right in his boy Book's face. Oh, that was a big and catch. And Book, is not happy. He's going to do sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard face. He'll be featured on the hard face. Uh, because he usered that really, really well. He was close to where the ball was going to be caught, but his defender just drifted too far. Normally, Rico, you want to be underneath a little bit. Remember, you have those big, tall defenders who want to be underneath. And Bogues shoots in, but doesn't get the same level of hit stick that Most Wanted was able to time and use to force that fumble. Absolutely. And he is back in this game with a vengeance. Second and eight ball on the 23-yard line. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. And FMB Most Wanted is driving, trying to take the first lead of the game against number one seed Books. The third of our games on stream today. Most Wanted. Jerry Rice, touchdown strike. Verticals against the Tampa 2. And now he's going to have to go for two points again as he chased earlier, but he's got a one-point lead. He's going to see if he can make it a field goal game. This is a complete turn of events. What does FMB taste like? What do your words taste like, Rico? Tell me. Uh, here's what I'll tell you. Right now, they taste a little greasy. A little greasy. I'm definitely having some kale right now. A little bit of spinach. <laughs> a splash of broccoli. FMB, the crew out of Atlanta. Most wanted representing for them. Says he's one of the best in the squad. Guys like Sino, Killicam. 
He's representing them today. They all know each other. And they're excited to be here. It's funny. Sino actually called me yesterday and guaranteed that FMB's most wanted. He said he's played Boone several times. He's going to get him. He feels comfortable with it. He feels like he's supposed to take that. Take this tournament down and he win. threw it away. I had trouble believing that because that's the same thing Encino told me about himself at the Classic. But he's hanging in here with Boogs. He doesn't look like, he doesn't look gun shy. He doesn't look nervous. But can he do it for four quarters? Uh-oh. Very fortunate for Boogs. So what happened there was he's used to throwing that route with a little bit more of a bullet pass. He saw that there was a user underneath, so he's going to need a little bit more lob on it. But he lobbed it too much, and that let the safeties break down on it. Fortunately, not a tipped interception for Boogs. Third and ten. Oh, and just like that, Boogs is in trouble. Look at that swag coming back to FMB's Most Wanted. He must have heard us talking him up because he is ready to go. That was a huge pick. Big-time players make big-time plays. Anthony Barr, the linebacker, gets it underneath. Such a talented option here inside Ultimate Team when you build your own squad. And right now, since he didn't get that two-point conversion, that was huge. Because if he's able to get a field goal here, he's already in range. He could take a four-point lead in the third quarter. Pressure right, throws the ball away. Did not get all the way outside the tackle box. And that makes it a third down in 18. Could have been a third and 11. And puts him outside of field goal range. So now he needs five, five or so yards to feel confident in making a field goal for most wanted. Or he might just go for 19 and try to get that first down. Great user defense. He threw it anyways. Can you throw out another man's user, Rico? You have no respect for his stick work at all. OMG. He saw him there. He saw he was clicked on. And said, I'm like, I haven't seen that audacity since Skimbo when we were in Orlando. He said, I don't care. He could be there the whole time. I'm throwing that every time that D-tackle is not supposed to get that. Great. It was a great user by Boogs, but he did just disrespect him by throwing directly at him. And now he's got to throw it on fourth and 18. And he knows he gave one up right there. The penalty was so crucial for most wanted. It was right on the line. If he call here or there, and it cost him the yardage to get into field goal range. And now Boogs takes back over on offense. That's the same play that resulted in that fumble. That's the same play that Jadavian Clowney has seen on SportsCenter every day for like the last seven years. Did it, it. Did it, it. Game trends. All right, here we go. Still leading by one with a minute 45 remaining in the third quarter. FMB is most wanted over Boogs. Good throw to Cooks, and that speed allows him to pick up 15 yards for Boogs. He posted a picture of his breakfast today, Rico. He had tea. He had phytoplankton, which is something that comes out of the ocean. And then he had, I mean, this kid, he just fires on all cylinders. Yeah, uh, you would need a panoramic shot of my breakfast. You would need the really you wide hit every part of the buffet? Yes. Third and inches for Boogs. Sneaks it with McNair, and he picks it up. Crosses over midfield. Minute 24 to go in the third quarter. He trails by one. And he awaits. Winner of this will await the winner of our next matchup. Rico Snaponic against Misery. That's going to be another great one. Both of those guys are hungry, ready, and have come off good victories in their first round. And I know they can't wait to try to get a shot at getting to these finals. Jerry Rice catches it down at the 33-yard line. Extends the body. Gets the feed in. Possession catch. That's why you get the GOAT on the squad. Absolutely. Trailing by one, Boogs needs to definitely put up seven here. Now, if Boogs scores, does he go for two? Yes. I think so. Brandon Cooks sent out to the right. He scored on that one time different route. Boogs looking patiently. He's got Chris Johnson for the touchdown out of the backfield on the wheel. What a play from Chris Johnson. That's not the 97 speed newest Chris Johnson. That's a base Chris Johnson. 
Now, here's another question I have for you. Do you realize how long it took Chris Johnson to get out of the backfield, get to the sideline, run all the way to the sideline, get in the end zone, catch the ball? He had forever to throw that pass. You can't give somebody as good as Boogs that much time, and he's going for two here. Fitzgerald can't hang on, so now we got a five-point game, and he's not pleased. He needs Fitz to hang on to those type of throws. Absolutely. That He got everything he was looking for in the read. He made the play, just couldn't hang on. All right, take me inside the mind of Most Wanted, the man you're looking at right there. What, what are you thinking now? Think he's got enough routes? No fumbles, no fumbles, no fumbles, no fumbles. Really hungry. No fumbles, no fumbles. <laughs> He's just hoping that he can be in control of his destiny right here. If he throws a pick, oh well. If he can't get the conversion, you can live with that. You just don't want to lay it down right now. That's, you know, when W won his championship, there was a fourth and one where he went for it. He could have tied the game with a field goal. And I was like, W, why did you go for that? And he's like, I couldn't live with myself if I didn't go for it, right? So like you said, as long as you don't fumble, if you, if you take, shoot your shot, right? Shoot your shot. And that's what Most Wanted's got to do on this drive right now. 27, tra 22, he trails. But he's he's been able to move the ball a little bit when he when he mixes in the short throws and takes what Boogs give him. And Boogs has been mixing up his pressure, but as the game goes on, if you're Most Wanted, you have to adjust if you want to win this thing. I'm shocked he ran a play before the fourth. Uh-oh, got that block in. And there you have it. We have three quarters in the book. Our fourth quarter right now, 27 to 22. Number one seed Bugs holds the lead here at the PNC Champions Club, Heinz Field, Pittsburgh Madden Club Series. Rogers dropping back, pressure up the middle, gets the ball out, and Jerry takes it across midfield. Most wanted on the move. He's got 300 total yards on offense, 210 through the air on 28 attempts. Coleman next to Rodgers. Will he be able to pick up some of this blitz pressure? Boogs crowding the line with his user defender right on that Steeler logo. Sends Rice back out. Oh, and that he came. And you could already see he was nervous about it when he was making his play call. He was locked in. But there was nothing he could do as there were just too many defenders and not enough blockers. And he's got to get some of these yards back now. We can't wait till a long third down conversion because you're not going to have the time against Boogs. Has the flat. He has the slant there, the delayed route across the middle. Third and 13. What do you think, Rico? Where, uh, you going? Where are you looking? I, I think you have to try to take your chance up top here. You definitely need a first down. This is two down territory. You have three timeouts left. You can afford to give up another field goal if you have to, but it doesn't seem like you have a two-point play because you haven't gotten one yet. So you definitely need to score here. If he goes back to McCaffrey across the middle, Boogs. All right, he took it. He took four down territory. So he's been going to McCaffrey on that, right? The pressure's been coming in super delayed way out from the bleachers. He's been rolling left and then hit McCaffrey. Boogs took away McCaffrey, but the trail route was open. Should have been tackled just before the line of scrimmage, but he was able to move the chains instead. That was a big first down. That way he didn't have to make that decision. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, and there you have it. Payday. 28, 27. Are we going to see another? Third time's a charm, maybe? These guys have been chasing points all day. Two-point conversions have not been good to them so far, but he can make it a three-point game for most wanted. That was one of the most impressive throws of the entire Steelers championship so far. Fourth quarter, strike down the sideline. Impressive stuff for most wanted. First time we see this formation from him. He is tackled short, did not get in. Look, Rico, you don't you, you have a gold halfback. You don't have, you know, a legend halfback who's gonna fall forward maybe in those situations. Coleman, very good option but he needed him to get another couple inches right Coleman there. Coleman was good. He needed him to be great. And now Boogs takes back over down one. He's been down a little bit this game. We saw him uh, score a field goal in a limited amount of time to win his first match. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
gonna have to do it again, Rico. And he's gonna have to do it flawlessly because you can't give somebody Oh almost a mistake. Fire. And early on, Boogs' reads were wide open. We talked about this being a game of adjustments, and FMB's most wanted has made adjustments throughout this game. He was down 21-3. I'm shocked that we said in the first game how long until Boogs throws his first incompletion of the match. And it took him a long time. It was a drop. There was a dropper here or there where he threw the ball away, but there was really not many incompletions or bad reads. This one, he's at about 50% of his completions, which is not something you want to see from Books. Even though he is hitting a lot of downfield routes to kind of make up for some of that completion percentage, not what you expect from him. Hey. Okay. Oh, he got lucky. That was that was Dion, wasn't it? Good job. So he, Clark was definitely open, but the throw didn't throw him to the sideline. And the defender did a really good job catching up. Almost got the pick, but instead, it leads to a fourth and seven. And he's and going for Boogs, it on the 28. Trailing one. I love him going for it here because you want a short field if you don't convert, and you can only still be down by a touchdown because you're only down one point. Boogs needs a play for fourth and seven. Nobody rushing, just one guy. Just one guy rushing. Sends the spy. Gets it picked up off the back foot. Jerry Rice. An incredible play, Rico. And you've said it, most wanted. He's not rushing. He's not getting the pressure. Boogs. When you give him that much time, he's going to make plays. He's, he's going to beat you. He's too good of a player to give him that much time. Think about it like this. He's had time to run any route he wants. The deep developing ones, the backbreakers, the corner route. You name it, he's having time to throw it. And when you go, when you give somebody that run, oh, that's amazing stick work right there. As he moved it on gain of eight. You gotta, you gotta send some pressure here. You can't allow him to be comfortable. You can't allow him to get into a rhythm, which he's in now, and now you're at his mercy. So question for you, Rico. There's a mindset in the community that if you ever don't know what to do, send pressure. <laughs> Dude, like if, you, if you're ever not sure what you should do, just gas it up. I mean, fourth, fourth down, you gotta send more gas. Absolutely. I'm not telling you to engage eight. <laughs> no. but, uh, but I'm definitely telling you, you got to send somebody. And Boogs right now is really moving the chains. He's on the brink with this game going to the two-minute warning of being able to close it out with a field goal if he can get two more first downs. So if he's able to convert to about between the 20 to the 17-yard line with his next first down and then run it inside the five-yard line, his opponent would have... No timeouts left. He could kick the field goal and walk out of here with a W. Look, you're the one seed. I think a lot of people maybe expect you to blow people out. But the field for this is razor close. So just by him managing the clock, controlling the game situation, that's how he's going to get tight victories here. Oh, that was great defense. That was incredible defense by Most Wanted. He took away his first two options and was waiting for him to come back across the middle. He needs th three more, actually two more. Because if you get him to fourth down, he's going to take the three. You need two more downs just like that one if you're Most Wanted. Looks motioned out. He's seen some big plays. Delayed slant. Playmaker up the field. His guy didn't move Chris Johnson. So he playmakered him. So he said he held down the left trigger and he flicked the right stick and he said, Chris Johnson, I see you. I need you to go upfield. Chris Johnson said, yep, just kidding. I'm going to turn around because he was too close to the sideline. That happens with some halfbacks. Almost turned into an interception. That's an interception I've thrown myself a hundred times. This is it right here. you got to get this stop. You get this stop, it's your game. He didn't move. send pressure one more time and Cooks. That's fine. He held a bend, don't break. Fourth and six. You got what you want. Mitt. What's the question I ask everybody before they end? Do you want to be up on defense <laughs> or do you want to be down on offense? FMB said he'd rather be on defense. He did not trust his offense to win him a game. Really? Yes. But that was with him needing a touchdown in my scenario. He only needs three here. Do you live in the Matrix? Yes. Yes, I do. Fantastic. Because I'm the chosen one. All right. In our last game, Boogs was tied. He needed a field goal to win. Right now, FMB most wanted 
with one timeout in a minute 37. If you're new to Madden, you're just watching today, a minute 37 is plenty of time in a game of Madden. He's got a great kicker. He just needs to get up to about the 40 yard line to feel good about it. That's why he starts off with the run. He doesn't feel like he needs to force it quite yet. By the way, my scenario that I give is a minute 30 with one timeout. It was a minute 37. This is a situation and you know, he said he'd rather be on defense, but now he's got no choice. He's stepping in. He runs this gun bunch. Boogs will know where the routes are. This is the formation he used to get his field goal. And let's see if the pressure's gonna come from the right from Boogs. Watch Fitzgerald. Got him. Oh. What route is that, Rico? <laughs> the back right here. See? The PA post is so slightly different, but it counts the same way. PA post is what a lot of these veteran expert players tell new players to utilize if they're just starting out. That PA post is a great play. Picks up pressure. You got a corner route on it. You've got a deep uh, post in the scene that you can hit. And this is the play he's utilized in all of his big moments so far today. 45 seconds. A lot of down. time came off that clock. But he only needs a field goal. Puts it away. So he needs the playmaker, his halfback, up the field to, to make that run pass option a little bit better. He's been going to that play and it worked early, but Boogs has now taken away that crossing route. And then by the time the pressure gets in, he's got to throw the ball away. So that's how that's playing out and how it's adapted over the course of the game. It's something to look out for here on second and 10. He needs 13 yards. 13 yards to feel really good about his chances. Ooh, and Ed! He said with the game on the line where he was going, he said, Ed McCaffrey, I fully expect him to... So you can also the ice end. the kicker in this game. There's ice the kicker. You've got clutch kickers. You've got focus kickers. This last 24 seconds, even though he's in field goal range potentially, he could get driven back. He could miss the field goal. Look at the time, too. He's got a timeout, though. So he's going to be a third from the 38. Boogs is taking a timeout and saying, hey, man, why don't you run it? Why don't you run it one more time? Why don't you run one more? He's, he's pressuring him into maybe trying to make him make a mistake by giving him another play. And here's why I tell you, I take that and I say thank you and I break this run for like 20 yards. Pull back dive. He stood up. He made him lose a yard. That's a smart play by Boogs. He's going to say, hey, do it one more time. But he should save a timeout in case he wants to try and ice him. The kicker for most wanted is Chris Boswell who has focus kicker but does not have clutch kicker. He's a 93 overall kicker. He's got good kick power at about, I think, 93, 94. He was one of the first clutch kickers in the entire game. Uh-oh, this is gonna be big. A focus kicker. Okay, he gets back to the 37. He's gonna take a timeout with, two, with three seconds. Now, Boogs is gonna take a timeout, try and ice him, I think. We're gonna see. Okay. Boog's taking a timeout. I can't tell you how hard it is to kick an ice kick. Let's just let this happen. Not iced. He's making this. That's focus kicker. That's too easy. Bam. Most wanted is moving on. And in there this game. you have it. What Boog's just was able to do in that first one, Most Wanted was able to do. He shocked the world. He just shocked the world. He upset the number one seed. And even more shocking, got two wins for FMB in the same tournament. Wow, we have to sit, we have to go back to sit down. We were standing here and now have to regain our composure because we got caught up in that game, just like the audience got caught up in that game. That was everything you could ask for and then some.